This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at buffer solutions. A buffer solution resists a change in pH when small amounts of acid or base are added. The components of a buffer solution are usually the conjugate acid base pair of a weak acid. For example, here we have a conjugate acid base pair, which is ethanoic acid and the ethanoate ion. This equation shows the reaction that takes place if acid is added to the buffer solution. The added hydronium ions react with the ethanoate ions to produce ethanoic acid and water. If a base is added to the buffer solution, the added hydroxide ions react with the ethanoic acid to produce ethanoate ions and water. So these two equations show the reactions that take place when either acid or base is added to the buffer solution. By reacting with the added hydronium or hydroxide ions, the conjugate acid-base pair enable the buffer solution to resist a change in pH. So next we look at the different ways to make a buffer solution. An acidic buffer can be made by mixing a weak acid and the salt of the weak acid and a strong base. An example is ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate. Note that both solutions have the same concentration. Here we can see the reaction between ethanoic acid and water. Because ethanoic acid is a weak acid, the position of equilibrium in this reaction lies very much to the left. So we can assume that the equilibrium concentration of ethanoic acid is the same as the initial concentration. Here we can see the equation for the dissociation of the salt sodium ethanoate. For this reaction, we assume that the salt completely dissociates which means that the equilibrium concentration of the ethanoate ion is the same as the initial concentration of the salt. So in this solution, we have the same amount in moles of the weak acid, which is ethanoic acid, and its conjugate base, which is the ethanoate ion. An acidic buffer can also be made by reacting a weak acid and a strong base. An example is ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide. So here we have the reaction between ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide to produce sodium ethanoate and water. In this reaction, we react one mole of ethanoic acid with 0.5 moles of sodium hydroxide. At the end of the reaction, we have 0.5 moles of ethanoic acid remaining. We also have 0.5 moles of sodium ethanoate and 0.5 moles of water. Note that we have no sodium hydroxide remaining. So in the buffer solution, we have equal amounts of ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate. Next we look at basic buffers. A basic buffer is composed of the conjugate acid-base pair of a weak base. For example, the weak base ammonia and its conjugate acid, the ammonium ion. When hydronium ions are added to the buffer solution, they react with the ammonia to form ammonium ions and water. And when hydroxide ions are added, they react with the ammonium ions to produce ammonia and water. By reacting with the added hydronium or hydroxide ions, the pH of the solution is maintained. So next we look at two ways to make a basic buffer. A basic buffer can be made by mixing together a weak base and the salt of the weak base and a strong acid. An example is the weak base ammonia and the salt ammonium chloride. Here we have the reaction of ammonia with water. Because ammonia is a weak base, the equilibrium position lies to the left. And here we have the equation for the dissociation of the salt ammonium chloride. The salt fully dissociates to produce ammonium ions and chloride ions. The resulting solution contains equal amounts of the weak base ammonia and its conjugate acid, the ammonium ion, therefore acting as a buffer solution. A basic buffer can also be made by reacting a weak base and a strong acid. The example is the weak base ammonia and the strong acid hydrochloric acid. So here we can see the reaction between ammonia and hydrochloric acid, which react together to form the salt ammonium chloride. In this reaction, we react one mole of ammonia with 0.5 moles of hydrochloric acid. Once the reaction is complete, we have equal amounts of the weak base ammonia and the salt ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride fully dissociates to produce the ammonium ion. So in this solution, we have equal amounts of the weak base, which is ammonia, and its conjugate acid, which is the ammonium ion, therefore acting as a buffer solution.